So you might be trying to figure out how you can downgrade certain applications on your Android device. Now, doing this is actually very, very basic, and it really doesn't take too much time. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is understand that you can't really downgrade these apps via the Google Play Store. You're going to have to download them via downloading another APK file and basically installing it yourself. So it can be kind of annoying. It can be kind of a process. So the first thing you're going to want to do is understand and find which specific application you want to go ahead and essentially go ahead and, you know, figure out and re-download essentially. So figure out what other application you want to go ahead and essentially install and downgrade. So in this case, we're going to use Snapchat. So go ahead and Google up the name of the application, APK Download. So in this case, we're going to be using Snapchat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and find that specific application, and I'm going to find it on either uptodown.com or APK Pure. Both these websites are pretty good. You can use whichever one you want. So in this case, you're going to want to go on this website and from these specific websites, they usually do tell you or give you a little breakdown of choosing an older version of that specific APK file. So in this case, it doesn't look like I have the capability. If I click right here, it does show me that this is the specific one they have available, but some specific ones do actually give you the ability of downloading an older file. So if we go to APK Pure, this one may actually give us the ability of downloading the older file. So if we go right here, you, you can see that here are some older files right here. This one is from August 17th. This one's the latest one. So what I can do, let's just use Messenger as an example. What I can do, same exact thing here, I can find that application. I can find that older version of that app and I can go and click on the download button and I can go ahead and download it. Now, the big thing to keep in mind is that you are going to have to basically delete that specific older application before downloading the latest one. So you're going to have to delete the older one and then you can download the newer one. Now, if you get these things that, this, that said the file might be harmful, it might be harmful, so just go ahead and make sure you do your research and everything, and make sure you, you know, do your research before downloading each individual application. And you want to make sure you're on the proper websites as well. And then once it's downloaded, you can go and open it up, and you should be able to go ahead and install these applications like a normal application. So you can see I have downloaded the older version of this, not the latest one, and that's one way of doing it. So here I can click open, and you can see it's going to allow me to go ahead and get into the older version of that Messenger app. So. That's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.